Dogs love water, but with a little help, you'll have them swimming in no time. And so we're back outside with Jim Helms. He's the owner of Jim Helms Dog Pals in Southampton, and we are going to get our pooch a little wet today. Hopefully, she's actually never been in the water, I've been told. I think she's had a bath, but that's about as far as it's gone. Well, this will be fun. Yeah, so we're gonna see how she does. How do you start? What's the first thing to familiarize well, your pet with the water? Well, what I like to do is allow the pet to go in themselves, the dog. So I know it's hard for everybody to see here, but I actually created a little bit of a raised area in there that's dry. So I'm gonna start by letting her go there and then go into the water Just on to own. let her pitter-patter around a little bit yeah. before she gets submerged. Because it, and a lot of people don't understand it, and a lot of people will actually take their dog and say, hey, just throw them in the water, sink or swim. You can actually make a dog where they will never want to go in the you water again if you do that. Them, you yes. can really traumatize them. So you want to try to get them to do it on their own. Well, shall we? Yep. So what we're gonna do is I actually just kinda go right inside. Now, you, I mean, I'm not gonna do it here, but I mean, you could actually <laughs> sit there and get in with them. Oops, got you your sure feet ready to already. Gym for <laughs> yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind. It's actually it's warm, kind of warm out here. Out here I, I, know. I might just end up in the pool. But you can see she's not really interested in actually going into the water. So maybe having food, having toys, and you can actually maybe coax her in a little bit. Oh, so that's the thing. See? If there's a treat in front of you, I'll right. do pretty much anything. <laughs> and so, but don't be afraid to actually get in there and make this fun. Just like if you were going out there with a human baby, say, "Yay, go to school, let's have fun!" All right, and <laughs> that's try exactly to, what I do yep. actually. <laughs> and with my like kids. I say, if they want to get out, let them. You may have to go in and out. And for a dog who's never been in and around water, it could take a month of doing this on a couple times a week to get them just enough so they'll actually run into the water. Well, people may think that, you know, you have doggy paddling, right? So yep. people may think that dogs are born with the ability to swim, but that's not necessarily true. No. Um, I have a, an Australian Shepherd who, when he paddles, <laughs> he, he, he actually doesn't really like swimming, and his legs are way above the water, and he's, he's literally oh. just splashing up a storm. <laughs> and we have some dogs that we may actually put life jackets on them. Some dogs are not naturally swimmers, even if they like the water. Mm -hmm. The pug that we had on earlier, um, basset hounds, dosh hounds, their legs are so small, they really can't swim very well. Uh, doesn't mean they can't still go and play in the water, mm -hmm. but you may need to take extra precautions. Absolutely. Yep. So Jim, once we've acclimated our pet to kind of enjoying the pitter patter of it. What's yeah. the next step? How do we get them to go from ankle deep to yeah. swimming dogs? There's actually two really good ways of doing it. If your dog loves to play fetch, start throwing that in a little bit um, and playing with them. And that's why, again, I like a lake or a pond or something so they can slowly get in. You humans should go in there with them. Start walking around, playing in the water. Let them come to you. Show them it's okay. Show too. them it's yeah. okay. And then another really, really good technique is have a bunch of dogs that are playing in the water. And just kind of mm. peer pressure, the dog will start to go, oh, they're doing it. They're why can't fun. you? Exactly. <laughs> oh, this dog's doing it. Why can't yeah. you? In, in our adventure dogs group, we wouldn't believe how many dogs actually don't like to go in and when they see the other dogs playing they will start to go deeper and deeper all on their own. Well, it's not a natural thing for a dog too so when you're there the dog must be saying well I can't go in this water. It kind of works for nope. me at the beach I'm kind of scared of the ocean but when I see other people I'm like it's <laughs> yeah. okay I can oh, do that they're too. they're having fun yeah. and not being eaten by sharks. <laughs> right I'll do it too. So speaking of the ocean lakes larger bodies of water when do life jackets come into play? It's going to depend on your dog I mean if you're going to go like we will actually take dogs canoeing and kayaking, we will definitely put life preservers on most of the dogs there because you may be in the middle of the lake and a dog, even though it could be a great swimmer, could really get tired by the time they get to mm -hmm. the shore if you can't catch up and get them back in the canoe. If you have like the, a pug or a dash hound or something um, that doesn't swim really well, even on the shore, they should probably be in the life jacket just because they can't swim and they can tire really quickly. Yes. You never know. And, and then the other breed is really smaller dogs Especially in New England, the water gets cold and never really warms up that much. Even a dog like this, she could get cold in 10 or 20 minutes and they'll actually start to tire mm -hmm. because they're cold and actually go underwater really quick. So even for a dog like this who's never been around, it's not a bad idea to have a life preserver. We'll try oh. one more time. Yeah. Say, but I think if I've learned nothing else, that you can't force the dog to just jump nope. in. It, you were saying it could take a month. Could take a month. Well, Jim, thanks so much for all these tips. I know my dog's not a big fan of the water, but I want so badly for, for her to be. So uh, maybe we, I'll try some of the tips. I guarantee if you take these steps, you can get your dog into the water. Thank Sounds you, Jim. Thanks.